We have a problem here from this section on moments and center of mass. That's 5.7. The instructions are find the centroid of the region bounded by the graphs of the given equations. We're going to work on 20. That has the equations y equals x cubed, y equals x, x equals 0, and x equals 1. So here we go. There are my equations. And we're going to graph that. Let's see, x equals 0, that's the y-axis. x equals 1, it's over there. y equals x, looks like that. And uh, y equals x cubed. If I put in, say, a half, right, that would have height an eighth. So it's going to be a region like that. OK, so I need to find the centroid. That's sort of a uh, three-step process, three integrals, essentially. And then I'm going to have to take the fractions. First I want to do is I want to find sort of what I would call the mass. If this had constant uh, constant density 1, what's the mass, or, or you might uh, call it the area of this shape. Uh, how am I going to do that? I'm going to integrate from 0 to 1, the top minus the bottom, x minus x cubed dx. So the uh, area is one-half x squared minus one-fourth x cubed evaluated from zero to one. Luckily, evaluating at zero does nothing, so I have a half minus a fourth, which says the area is one-fourth, or if it had density one, the mass would be one-fourth. Now I need the moment about uh, let's do the y-axis first. So that's how far to the right it is. Remember, I'm thinking about a little rectangle here. If I had a rectangle out at x, uh, what would be sort of the moment of that? And I've got to take those little rectangles from 0 to 1. The width of that rectangle is dx. The height of that rectangle, remember, is f of x minus g of x, so the top function minus the bottom function. So that's x minus x cubed. But then I have to multiply that by how far it is away from that axis. Well, it just happens to be x away from the axis. So that's the integral. Uh, if I distribute that, I get x squared minus x to the fourth dx. Let's see, so that comes out to <coughs> one-third x to the third minus one-fifth x to the fifth evaluated from zero to one so that's one-third minus one-fifth or you could think of that as five fifteenths minus three fifteenths which is two fifteenths isn't that grand okay then we could take the moment around the x-axis this one remember you're, you're asking really how high is this piece. So you uh, conceptually what you're doing is f minus x, g, f of x minus g of x times one half f of x plus g of x. Uh, but what that works out to when you simplify is one half f of x squared, the top function squared, minus the bottom function squared. And the bottom function here remember is to the third, so that's going to be x to the third squared. Okay, so that's that's a fairly straightforward integral. Uh, we have one half times one third x cubed minus one seventh x to the seventh evaluated from zero to one. Always like evaluating at zero and one. Makes my life a lot more pleasant. So let's see, I have one half uh, one third minus one seventh and minus zero technically, but we won't write that down. Uh, so this would be 7 21sts minus 3 21sts, which is 4 21sts. Dividing that by 2 gives me 2 21sts. OK, so now I'm ready for the centroid. Remember, we have an x bar, which is the moment around the y-axis. That's 2 15ths divided by the, you could think of it as the mass or the area, one-fourth. Let's see, so dividing fractions is the same as inverting and multiplying. 
So times 4 over 1, which gives me 8 fifteenths. Uh, notice what that means in practice in the x direction. Uh, 7 and a half fifteenths would be dead middle. It says the, the center of mass in the x direction is ever so slightly past half, but very close to half. And then y bar equals the moment about the x-axis, that's 2 21sts divided by 1 4th, invert and multiply, 2 21sts times 4 over 1, which is 8 21sts. You can see that's a little less than, say, 10 and a half 21sts, so the center of mass in the y direction is a little below halfway. And the centroid is then that point 8 15ths, 8 21sts. Woohoo!